Okay, now here we have dice, and we have them on a ruler in front of a meter stick. Okay, so here's three dice in front of the meter stick, and it's actually uh, measured, it's a meter stick, but it's measured in inches. Uh, and here is two dice, here's two dice in front of the meter stick, and here's one die in front of the meter stick. The question we raised, and I just showed people that, you know, people were able to look at that. Um, <clears throat> how many dice would it take to fill the room? Okay, well, we know how many one inch cubes it would take. How many dice would it take based on what you've observed? Now, I suggest that you work that out before you see what anybody did. Um, what information would you use? What's the best information you can get from what I showed you? Okay, well, hopefully we paused and actually worked that out or at least written down the information with some idea of how you might answer the question. Now, some people uh, assumed that it took, that there were two dice per inch. Now, whether that's what you observed or not, let's go with that assumption. If there are two dice per inch, then how could we calculate this? Think about that. You should pause. Think about it. Come back. Okay, well, I'm glad you're back. Uh, hopefully you paused and thought about it. Okay, if there are two dice per inch, well, the first thought is, well, if there are two dice per inch, and this is how many there are with one inch cubes, then uh, we just double this number, and that's how many dice it would take. Uh, well, that doesn't quite work, and maybe you want to stop and think for a minute why before I tell you. Uh, that's because if you put down, if, your die, if you have two dice per inch, then two dice will give you this. And this would be an inch long, but it wouldn't be an inch wide, and it wouldn't be an inch high. Okay? To make it an inch high, we would have to do this, but it still wouldn't be an inch wide, would it? Okay, so what would we have to do to make it an inch wide, to, to get a cube an inch wide? Well, turns out then, uh, one thing we could do is we could say, well, if there are two dice per inch, then if we know how many inches the room is long, and how many inches it is wide, and how many inches it is high, we just double each of those, and we have how many dice it would take to run the length of the room, the width of the room, and the height of the room. And then we could multiply those three numbers. Okay, well, each time uh, to get the number of dice, uh, we, we uh, you know, for the length, width, and height of the room, we could double the number of inches in the length the width and the height, and we would get the number of dice corresponding to the length, the width, and the height. And then we'd multiply the three together. Well, in doing that, we will have multiplied by two to get the length, by two to get the width, and by two to get the height. So when we multiply length by width by height, we'll have multiplied by two for each one. So we're going to multiply by 2, by 2, and by 2. And what we get then would be 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 cubed times as many dice as you have 1 inch cubes. Now another way to do the same thing, uh, or very similar, is we could build a 1 inch cube. Okay, we take a die here. Let's do it over here. I've got a little more room. I think I can get two dice on here without falling off. Yeah, so we do one, two, three, four dice, but that doesn't quite make the cube. And then we do another layer of four dice. And if two dice make an inch, in other words, put two dice together, they cover an inch, 
then you have a one inch cube. Now actually, as you can see from the meter stick, if you can see the marks, the dice cover a little bit more than an inch, don't they? The width of this cube is a little more than an inch, so that the eight dice we have here are a little more than a one inch cube. Okay? But if these dice were just a little smaller, so that there'd be two dice to cover an inch, two dice side by side would give you something an inch long, then we would have a one inch by one inch by one inch cube, and how many dice are in that cube? There are eight. You count them. You, you can go back, you know, review what I did to build this, and you'll see that there are eight, and I'm sure you can visualize that there are eight, and maybe I can even hold this up. See? Here we go. Okay, how many do we have? Okay, you know, looking at this from every different angle, uh, it should be pretty clear that we have eight dice in that block. Okay, again, so if you have eight half inch dice, you would be able to build a one inch cube and fill a one inch cube. Again, then, that's also related to the fact that 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, and you want to think about how that's connected.